one of these really sucks. Do you know which one it is? Well, keep watching. I will definitely tell you about it. Hey, well, happy 320 day. So I promised a video here a while back, haven't got to it, so we're going to talk about the SIG P320 grip modules. So you can see here I have four different modules, and one of these really suck. And I hate to say that, because I like the company that makes it, and I've used their other their other items, and I've always had, you know, really good luck with their stuff. But this one, I just think they uh, they just missed it. It just isn't there. So what we got going on here, this is the SIG P320 uh, grip module. That's their X-Series. I do like the contouring. And this one is the, this one is a medium. You see they mark them. There we go. M there for medium on the back. Um, I have, I have another model. Here on this one, this one is the large contour. I actually like it. Now, the downside to these from SIG is uh, the plastic that they use and the stippling uh, design, I guess, if you want to call it that. Or actually, the gun actually feels kind of slippery in your hand. Doesn't matter your grip, it just... You just never feel like you have a good grip on. Now, throw a pair of gloves on, it's it's different. But if you just grab it barehanded, it, they just don't feel that good. Now, this is a SIG a P320 grip frame, the standard model. And this is similar to like what they have like on the, you know, the standard models, the, was it the M17, the M18? Is that what their military versions are? Or they have 19, M17, I don't know, whatever. The longer slide, the shorter slide. So, this one is a medium as well. Um, they, The contour is a little different than the X-Series. It's, you know, the same plastic compound. But they do feel a little better in the hand. Um, but they're just, I, I don't know, they're just not there. So, this one here... I actually added some stippling to it. I actually redid it, made it a lot grippier. It's not so bad. Okay, so that covers the SIG models. Nah, they're okay. You get it out of the box, you can manage, you can shoot it. So then here, these are the Polymer 80 um, grip frames. I do like the styling here. I do like the bigger mag catch mag release button now it is different than you can't interchange it with the sig it's a different shape it's a different design they kind of go after the glock style where it slides through it's got that that single spring like a wire spring in there that holds it in place um, if you've ever changed one on a glock you know what i'm talking about so um it, they are undercut Pretty high here, pretty deep if you want to call it. Um, you, they give you a little extra undercut here. You get a good grip on it. Um, add a little stippling here for your thumb, uh, depending on your grip. Um, I like the shape of the grip. It's a little blocky, kind of reminds me of the 1911. I like it. Uh, it's actually one of my, my favorites and I've tried a lot of these different grips. Um, so this one's an olive drab, the OD green. Then I have this one here, Polymer 80. That is the FDE. I I really like those Polymer 80 ones. All right. So then we have the Wilson Combat grip module. So as you can see, they use the same mag catch. There, there, there might even even be a SIG model. I think they are the SIG ones. 
um, they pop out you can put them in swap them from frame to frame or module to module <clears throat> so that's got you know that's going for it if you're looking for you know parts interchangeability instead of the proprietary one that polymerady uses this uh the plastic the grip doesn't feel too bad it's not as slippery as like the sig you know legion there the left the legion the x series i guess you would call it the x series module they've got their kind of their design if you see a wilson combat by kind of I don't know, the starburst or sun sun rays i don't know what you want to call that their design you pretty much know it's a wilson combat right i think a lot of guys go buy these because it's wilson um it's actually my least favorite i bought this one first hoping it was going to be the one and it was not this thing is terribly skinny um when you are holding it especially when it's assembled like if you're just holding it uh, just the grip module itself it doesn't feel that bad you're thinking now oh, i made a good choice Put your fire control unit, your group in, throw your slide on. You find out real quickly that it just does not feel good. You throw the weight of the gun onto it. And it, it, it just, for me and for, I mean, my boys even tried this. I've had several other people try it. And everyone says it is too skinny, too, too thin. And you can see they put these real deep recesses here, like for your thumb both sides um, makes it very thin up here i just don't like it um when i was shooting with this i had to run my thumb up high and actually set it on the slide stop or on this ridge because this is just too thin you just don't you just can't you just feel like you can't hold on to it it feels too thin the gun just moves around too much in your hand i just man wilson combat Make that thing a little thicker. Throw some meat back in there. Um, I think you would uh, you'd have it. I like the way it looks. I like that plastic. I like that design. It doesn't feel slippery in the hand, but it's just too thin in the wrong places. Um, I just I hate to say it. Out of this group, okay. Out of, you know, what you can, these are probably the ones that you're going to find the most out there if you're switching around. I know there's others on the market. But everything I've tried, and then a couple gun shops I've been in that have 320s that I've picked up. That have had other brands of the grip modules. The Wilson Combat one just sucks. It is my least favorite. So, there is the video that I promised. Um... Sorry to have to say that about the Wilson Combat, but it just sucks. I just, like I said, that was the first one I bought. Then I I just couldn't shoot the thing. I hated the way it felt. And my boys didn't like it. Friends were telling me the same thing. Other people that tried it. So I went this route, went to this SIG. Um, it was okay. One of my SIGs, this is the, the model it came with, so that's why I tried the stippling. To make it a little grippier yeah that made a difference it um, but I shouldn't have to do that when I spend you know $500 on a gun it should it shouldn't feel slippery <laughs> you know um, the polymer 80 there it is that's the one I have to say best bang for your buck um, you can get them for like 30 to $40 I mean the the mag catch is already assembled Drop your uh, fire control group in, throw your slide on, and go to town. The only thing that I will say, the downside, I contacted Paul and Marie, and they just didn't want to talk. I mean, they just made it very clear. I asked them if they make a model that the dust cover, the rail section here, was longer to match. Let's flip this guy over. You see the difference in length there. Which is great, because they can make the one, and it'll fit the compact, it'll fit the full size. Okay, 
Um, but I do like, on the full size, I like having that longer rail as such. So the so the frame, the, the grip module, the plastic actually goes out to the end of the barrel. Let me see there. I like the way that I like the way that looks me personally so when it comes to the polymer 80s that's the only size they make um, I contact them just asking them you know if they plan to make another style um, if they could tool up and you know if I could order a whole bunch of them if they could just extend that out to me man those emails were short and just refer to me to the website to order this one. So, I mean, they didn't even want to talk about it. So, Paul and Brady, if you're out there, if you're listening, hey, maybe throw another model out there. Um, I think the guys would buy it. I know guys like me, I would probably buy one in every color that you have. Um, that's just me, and I'm sure there's others out there that feel the same way. So, SIG grip modules. Uh, okay. Polymer 80, heck yes. That's uh, my pick. It's not too aggressive on the stippling. Good grip. You you feel like you got a hold and control of the gun. Wilson Combat, no. Thumbs down, no good. Um, sorry, Wilson Combat. Change that design up a little bit. Maybe you'll have it. So anyway, happy P... Not P320 day, but happy 320 day. Round guy, please like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.